what is scratching? To turntablists, it's the ultimate form of expression. It's our escape, our release, and is the new jazz creative art form. This is the golden age of scratching and turntablism, and we want to give you a glimpse into our world. Scratch Society and the Golden Age of Scratching. Where did it all start? Legend has it, in 1975, Grand Wizard Theodore heard himself scratch and refined the sound until he debuted it in a club. Other pioneers like Cool Herc, Africa Bambata, and Grandmaster Flash were doing it too. Around this time, Grandmaster Flash debuted Grandmaster Flash and the Wheels of Steels with scratching. A few years later, Herbie Hancock, Rocket, further exposed scratching. Around 1983, Tony Prince started DMC and further showed how DJ battles organized battles and routines could shine. During this time, more DJ contributions to scratching came out that helped elevate scratching further. The East Coast started it, but it wasn't until the 90s that the West Coast took it even further. 90s commercialism of hip-hop changed the musical contributions of DJs and confined them into the role of producer and replaced them with machines. Now, crews like ISP and Beat Junkies have been integral in keeping our culture healthy. In 2000s, DJing became widely popularized and accepted in mainstream and within hip-hop artists again. Like in the 90s, now DJ culture has once again peaked and this is the golden age of scratching and turntablism. Everyone is now more aware than ever that the turntable is a musical instrument. Today, scratching is at an all-time high and can be seen in pop culture and mass media globally. Thank you to the help of technology and social media outlets, individuals have been able to reach greater audiences, further exposing scratching to old and new generations. Part 3. Digital DJing gave birth to controllerism, using musical software and controllers to create music. And with the rise of new cost-effective portable turntables, DJs are literally able to cut remotely, anywhere. We spoke to a few talented DJs and spoke to them to see how they feel about it, and here's what they had to say. Check it out. Let's get scratching. That's that shit right there that got me into cutting. Dope samples. Over a sick beat. A break, of course. What's up? My name is DJ Esk. From New Jersey. Born and raised in New Jersey. Colombian parents with a very stereotypical last name, which is Escobar. And that is how I came up with my moniker which is Esk. About me, um, coming up in New Jersey, mid to late 90s, I worked for some really famous nightclubs in New York, always around DJs, always around the talent, always interested in turntables, always interested in doing what they were doing, which was mainly mixing at that time. And so I would practice on other people's setups, and uh, buy records, collect my own records, play records on other people's equipment until I was able to afford my own. Scratching has changed my life. Um, it took me out of that scene that had me really sucked in. And uh, unfortunately, with not all the best influences, um, I was quite absorbed in that scene. So music and scratching saved my life. And uh, that's why I owe it mine. And uh, I don't see it ever leaving me. Uh, even when I'm old and gray, I mean, I'm, I'm old and gray now, but when I, get, <laughs> when I get older and grayer and I'm in some type of nursing home, let's hope not. Uh, maybe I'll be cutting away with um, some new portable, uh, some invisible, floatable, portable that I don't know about yet. You're right. <laughs> I 
Big ups to the Scratch Society. Um, Scratch Society is uh, all about, um, you know, movement to promote our art form, which we love dearly. And um, I guess the only way to keep this really alive is to push out quality product. And uh, that's what I expect from each and every one of you. So, hope uh, we continue to build, um, let the public know where it's at as far as DJing is concerned. And um, just continue to do what we love and have fun with it. That's what it's all about. Just have fun with this shit. Soy José Rodríguez, DJ y turtablista de Málaga, sur de España. Que cómo ha cambiado mi vida el scratching. El scratching cambió mi vida. Yo empecé a a pinchar alrededor de 2000-2001, música electrónica, y a los pocos años, creo que en 2003, vi el documental de Scratching, el famoso documental, y me enganché, vi que, que tenía el, el equipo en casa desaprovechado, que podía hacer muchísimas más cosas, y que detrás del mismo equipo que yo había estado, estado usando siempre, había una, una cultura, ¿no? Y me enganché hasta, hasta hoy, que no hago otra cosa que, que scratchear. ¿Qué es para mí el scratching y el turtle? Pues es una forma de expresión como otra cualquiera, como tocar un instrumento, como bailar, como pintar. Eh, en función de tu estado de ánimo vas a scratchear diferente, vas a expresarte de forma diferente. Es un modo de vida también. Todo lo que escuchas lo, lo aplicas al, al scratching, ritmos, eh, patrones. Es un, una forma de vida y una forma de, de expresarse. Consejos para futuras generaciones. Bueno, pues que queden, que queden para compartir. Esto es cultura y la cultura al final, como creces, compartiendo ideas. Y hay que quedar para scratchar juntos, para hacer beats, para hacer juggling, compartir patrones, trucos, porque es la forma de crecer. Al final, eh, siempre quedar tiene sus complicaciones por la distancia, tampoco es el scratching y el tour también, tampoco es una cosa que esté muy, muy, muy extendida, no es como por ejemplo el fútbol en España, ¿no? que casi todo el mundo juega al fútbol y es más fácil quedar para jugar al fútbol. ¿no? Pero hay que hacer el esfuerzo de, de quedar para, para compartir, te, te lo pasas muchísimo mejor que solo en casa. Y bueno, aunque uno esté trabajando, otro tenga la familia, otro esté estudiando, siempre hay que sacar el hueco porque, porque compensa. ¿no? La situación del scratching en España, pues estamos creciendo poco a poco. Se nota evidentemente en, la, en las redes sociales pero donde más se nota es en las quedadas, en las scratches, ¿no? En estas quedadas que se hacen por, por todo el mundo, que cada vez va más gente. En Barcelona, por ejemplo, se hace una al mes, me parece, y, y van de 40 a 50 personas y tienen que estar haciendo listas para, para apuntarse, porque si no se juntan ahí muchísima gente y, y genial, vaya, no solo en Barcelona, se están haciendo en Madrid, en Andalucía, en, en Bilbao... Está increíble. Poco a poco, pero vamos creciendo. También se están haciendo ahora competiciones, que está un poco para la cosa por España. No hay ni Red Bull Freestyle, no hay DMC. Ahora este año se ha hecho la, la IDA eh, de Scratch. Y bueno, esperemos que con el paso de los años pues, se vaya organizando la, la técnica categoría y showcase también. Y a ver si bueno se vuelve a organizar DMC y Red Bull Freestyle. Estaría genial también. ¿Qué, ¿Qué me parece Scratch Society? Me parece una idea genial. Están 
ayudando a que la cultura se extienda, compartiendo vídeos de la gente, hace que, bueno, pues que el, todos los Scratchers vayan conociendo Scratchers nuevos de, de otros lugares del mundo, están uniendo gente y bueno, también están haciendo competiciones, está genial, me parece una, una propuesta de puta madre. Bueno, pues muchísimas gracias a Scratch Society por darme esta oportunidad de hacer esta entrevista, a DJ Notice. Y nada, vamos a rascar un poquito. Peace. Oh, 
DJ Havana, a.k.a. Scratch Veneno. I'm a Dominican Republic DJ, uh, Guayando Mundial, Scratch, New Jersey. Just spreading the love of scratching, man. How has it changed my life? I would say how, how has it molded, like, everything that I did prior to scratching, like, my music, my taste, uh, how I produced, what I did with my career, like, like forever, like, everything else I pr pretty much put on a pause. But scratching always stuck to me. It's something that my kids know, uh, my whole family knows. <laughs> you know, I can't hide it from nobody. I'm a, I'm a scratch fiend, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it, you know? I'm pretty proud of it because it's, it's opened doors for me to go to different countries, speak to people I don't even understand their language, and we speak that same language that's scratching. All right, now this one, it don't matter if it's in the future, if it's right now, I would say always the same thing. Scratching is an extension of, of your soul, is um, speak. Don't look at it as a competition. Don't look at it as, a, you know, don't feel intimidated by another person's way of doing things. It's unique. Do your thing, do, do you, be, be, be you. Uh, explore new different sounds. Don't stay stuck to the norms, you know? Just like music, just let it, let it grow. Uh, and, and, and you're gonna see, it's, it's a beautiful journey, uh, but like with everything, a lot of practice, a lot of practice, a lot of practice. Never think you reach n nothing. You're always learning till the day you die. You know, that's the the the, the way of life. Uh, look at this as a, a way of life, like a like a martial art. Anything that uh, involves uh, training, patience, uh, perseverance, and uh, at the end of, of everything, uh, you will find something that's so unique to you that that you can't even explain it with words. It's all about sounds. You know. All right, scratching and turntable is to me is uh, is art, is expression, is a voice. Um, each each person that's scratching is uh, saying something, is saying a story, or or, or, or exp expressing of emotion. You know, it could be a color. You know, it could be a, a, a an anger. It could be a, a, a happiness. You know, and uh, I love it when we get together and uh, each person just collaborates, each person just has that conversation and you feel that, that, that energy, that vibe, you know? Scratching a sign, I'm not gonna say sign religious, but definitely a, 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 another type of uh, spiritual connection, you know? You connect yourself artistically with something else, you know? Uh, with something deep inside of yourself, you know? I, I wanna give a huge shout out to my people from Scratch Society. I want everybody to go check out their videos, like, subscribe, repost, whatever you gotta do to show love, cause these people are really uh, supporting the community. These people are like showing love to a lot of us. So, you know, we gotta, you know, show our support. Uh, this is what it's all about, you know? Show your local, you know, record shop, show your local uh, turntable some love. Cause that's all we got, man, it's ourselves. So, you already know, all we got is us. <laughs> Ciao amici.
amici, mi chiamo DJ Mike e che è Micionero e vengo dall'Italia. Lo scratch ha cambiato la mia vita perché lo scratch è istinto, puro istinto, creatività e mi ha permesso di esprimermi al meglio. I consigli che voglio dare a chi troverà questa registrazione è di approcciarsi al tartablism in modo molto umile in modo di abbracciarlo perché il DJing è una delle espressioni con una libertà creativa assoluta quindi ognuno di noi eh, deve secondo me eh, avvicinarsi al tartablism, allo scratch, al bijuggling, a tutto il mondo del DJing con il cuore aperto lo scratch e il tartablism per me sono come l'aria fresca quando apri le finestre al mattino, è una, una forma d'arte assoluta, un, un qualcosa che serve a rinfrescare, a rileggere magari qualcosa che già esisteva, quindi è, è, è qualcosa di diretto che parte dal, dalle proprie idee, dal proprio background e scorre fino alle mani che si esprimono su su un giradischi, cioè qualcosa, uno strumento che contiene tutti gli strumenti. Il mio stile viene da, viene da, da un po' tutto, io trago ispirazione soprattutto da quello che mi circonda, mi piace molto eh, guardare, stare in mezzo come oggi, in mezzo alla natura, sentire profumi, sentire i rumori, farmi ispirare da tutto quello che è il mondo circostante e cercare di riportarlo nel mio tartablism, nella mia musica, nei miei scratch e nel, nel mio modo personale di approcciare a quest'arte. Scratch Society secondo me è un movimento che darà la possibilità a tante persone come me che amano quest'arte e che vogliono divulgare il messaggio. È, è assolutamente un, una cosa nobile che sta accadendo ora nel mondo, eh, stiamo vivendo una nuova diciamo, golden age del tartablismo mondiale e eh, Scratch Society sta portando questo messaggio a tutti, quindi seguite Scratch Society, viva lo scratch e viva il tartablismo, DJ Mike, Misionero, Italy. Right. Yo, my name is El Stavis. I've been scratching for like 21 years. Took some time off, came back. Just hard to scratch. How is scratching change your life? To me, scratching is everything. It means everything. What advice about scratching and turntablism would you like to give? Cut hard, cut fast, cut it up fresh. Scratching and turntablism mean everything to me because it is life. Scratching is life. Yo, big shout out to the Scratch Society. Big shout out to everyone involved. Thank you. Peace.
Jag har stretch society och nu ska jag visa er hur gott väg att fixa dem. Så det här är trycket med mina t-shirts och mina reklamer. Guys, DJ Hypnotize, aka the Heads Up, Scratch Society founder, Iron Hip Style, Wu Tang, Thud Rumble. Welcome to the Nerve Center Studio. I had Scratch and Change My Life. Well, what started as an outlet for creative expression quickly became a vehicle that allowed me to use my passions as a fuel to pursue my dreams, avenues, and opportunities that may not have been possible otherwise. I founded the Scratch Society to create a one collaborative mind movement to perpetuate and elevate the art form forward. If there was one piece of advice I could leave for future generations, it's two words, never stop.
How you been? Everything good? Everything's good, bro. How about you? Good. Just, you know, training, working. We feel like we are still in the golden age of turntablism. Would you agree with that? Uh, I think it's just going to always grow. I think uh, no matter how how advanced we get, it just can keep getting more advanced than that. So, you know, nice. it's like, uh, I don't know, it'd be like, uh, I don't know. You know, like some aliens, they live for thousands of years. Well, humans only live for a hundred years, mm -hmm. about. And so, you know, imagine those aliens and their scratch music. They live for yeah, you know, long ass. They could develop it for like, you know, ten times more than we could develop, or twenty times more than we could develop it. So our stuff is way not advanced. You know, so yeah. it's like beyond the kindergarten or something. Right, shit. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, how has scratching changed your life? That's a broad question. That's like saying, um, so what did you do every day of your life? You know, it's like, okay, just make, All right. make my life happier. You know, it makes, makes it made me, you know, I can, how long you got? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of like, you know, like I discovered a lot about life, you know, learning about music and then trying to learn about music in different countries. And I started learning about music in different planets and started to learn about alien cultures and all that. And it's changed my life. Like, you know, indirectly, I learned to, about like how people should live you know how what life is all about you know all the secrets of the universe through scratching and so that's that's pretty much the gist of it and I, I learned that just, you just break it down like we're we're just in this big ass video game of life and the, the rules are to uh, to spread love and, and make the world the universe the galaxy a better place with your skills and hmm. that's pretty much it really Kind of like a, I call it a facet to scratching others. There's, uh, you know, you got different cadences. You got, you know, like ways of like you can like imitate an MC, mm -hmm. imitate how rappers flow. You can imitate how other instruments flow. You can, uh, you know, there's all these rhythms. There's all the these rhythms, yeah. mathematics in, in different numbers, rhythms. Combine all the rhythm, rhythms, the storytelling. There's like, there's you know, there's different uh, pitches. You know, you go up and down. There's a lot of melodic things you can do with scratching. There's, you know, there's the aspect of shooting love energy, shooting healing energy towards everyone when you're scratching. You know, you're, mm. you, if you're happy, you go, it flows through your scratching. You know, sometimes if you're in a in a in a in an emotional. You can use that emote to go into your scratching and it, yeah. makes it, it enhances it. There's so much, man. There's like, you know, going fast, going slow. There's using silence. There's mm -hmm. everything in between. And, you know, uh, you know, you see visuals when you scratch. And you're telling like a, 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 like what happened during your day today, you know. Yeah. Beats, you know, the beats change your mood too. It's like, do you want to live in this scratch? If you're listening to some scratch in the music, do you want to live in that, or is that just some a bunch of noise? Yeah, exactly. Or do you want to live in a bunch of so when, well, so when I hear somebody scratching, if I hear somebody scratching, do I want to be in that room listening to that shit, or do I do I really like it? You know, so you gotta keep that 
aspect too. It's like someone just going all crazy and stuff. It's like, right. now, now I don't want to be in all that. Sounds like a bunch of just, you know, An earthquake. I want to hear something that's like hypnotic and makes me feel, that's just me. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. I feel so you. I, I agree. I, I always take, take that into account. Is it, is it, uh, it going to be like, uh, is it a meditative thing that I want to live in? Or is mm -hmm. it, this guy, guy just making a bunch of noise trying to jump? Noise, you know, like right. speed and shit. Like I don't want to live in that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I think of I think of music as do you wanna do you wanna um if you were in a womb and somebody was making a bunch of noise, do you, is it a good noise? You know. <laughs> right. No, that's deep. That's interesting. I don't know, man. That's that's that's. <laughs> that's what's real. I can go on for days with that. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, what is the art of scratching and turntablism to you? Sound, just put the sound fucking good to the ear. It makes you, makes you. I don't know. To me, just I like it when it's hypnotic. There's, there's all kinds of ways. You can make it sound like shit. You can make it like yeah. you're battling someone. You can make it like. It depends, man. It's, it's, it's your perspective. You know, there's sometimes I when I do just want to like go crazy and be like I'm trying to battle someone. But you know, as I get older and more mature, it's now I just want to make it more hypnotic Word. and like, like put someone in that like freaking meditative state you know, with, with the. Uh, Scratching, and I used to, I used to go all crazy and do all these crazy patterns, mm -hmm. but now I just kind of keep it, keep it chill, and then bust out some crazy patterns within the chillness. It's yeah, like that's a boxer. Like you just take your time. What? Take your time. It's like if you go all wild in the beginning, you get you get you get tired. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like go and then just hit them unexpectedly. Go in with the box, the little once in a while, and stuff. You know? Yeah. You Already, already. Like some style in there, not yeah. like it just straight fucking killing shit. Like, what are you trying to do? And Earthquakes. Shit, like, fucking murder somebody and shit. <laughs> Sick. So, hey, the, well, the next question is if you could do a demo, a quick demo. I don't know if you're, if you, uh, if it's a possibility. Could we see? Can you show us a little something? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Swag, thank you, thank you. I mean, so I mean, is there anything else? I mean, is there anything? <laughs> hey, so how have your travels been? How have your travels been lately? You, you've been all over the place. Word, 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 word. Yeah, How? I, like, I like staying home and making music. Like right now, I'm working on four albums. Sick. Can you talk more about those? After you cut? Which one? I know you got the, the Dr. Octagon thing and, and y'all doing another album, right? With the pickles and stuff. Congrats on that, by the way. You know, cool kids, wild as fuck. Hmm. And, uh, what else is there? Um, what was that? No, no, I'm just listening. Keep going. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be pretty dope. When is that dropping? So, this is a new, this is a test pressing of a 10 inch of this. Super Seal. What is it, Super Seal 7? 7, 7. So it's just all, all the, all the, well, the back sides are like 100 beats, beats per minute, and all, and all the other sides are like uh, 133 beats per minute, so you got fast shit. Oh, nice. It was fast stuff on one side, and more medium stuff on the other side. 
sweet. Hmm. Thank you, bro. That's sick, bro. We, hey, I appreciate it, bro. Like, like, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's like I'm trying to scratch. I'm trying to scratch. Like, uh, shit, uh, yeah. Melodically and shit, yeah. Yeah, in the pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's another thing. It's in the pocket, swing it. Yeah. That three, the threes. <laughs> That's so sick, bro. Thank you, man. What else? Anything else you want to talk about? What else? Tell me. Yo, I need the wings, bro. You know what I'm saying? I need the wings. <laughs> yep. In about in about a week and a half, the, uh, one of the wings is gonna come off. So. Sick. Stay for that. And um, and this is a uh, secret right here. We got a uh, one of the Robo heads on Baby Super Bill Seven. On the back of it is um is a zombie head. So it's like the robot. Oh, it's interchangeable. Oh, swag. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I'll limit this because Halloween's coming up, so we're just going to make a few of those. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Dope, bro. So, I mean, what what else is going down? Like, what are you working on right now with your cuts? Just just trying to just trying to just keep it tight, you know, and uh, any new techniques that you're working on or any old techniques that you're trying to, like, clean up? Yeah, a lot of, a lot, you know, all, there's, all, there's all these different rhythms and, you know, to get all your, all your old scratch techniques into all those rhythms, it's, it's like, that's another, that's another fucking universe right there, a bunch of universes right there, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's like all these weird time signatures and, yeah. you know, just trying to mess with that to make it all, you know, like some, yeah. like them all offbeat weird ones, I like those types yeah, 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 nice. What's up with the beats? Yeah, I'm doing that stuff every day. I'll show you my stuff over here. Check it out. That's like my. That's I love making beats, man. Like yeah, I, I know. I got here and I'm just. Who? What? The machine thing. The, uh, the machine thing here. The I got machine. The controller one. Nice. Just my little hack mixer. The hack. That oh, hack is ill, bro. Nice so, uh, super seal. No shit. And this, 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 this is the beats right here. This. It's 404. This is like oh, a, nice. a Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Nice little keyboard to this OP1. Which I don't know about. Oh. It's sold out now. Super, super Seal 2. So nice. These are all sold out. So we're going to um, swag frame them. those with new cover. And it's, uh, it's going to be like a uh, more user friendly. Like one whole side will be a skipless. Uh, oh, badass. You don't have to like, worry about it. Uh, super. That's it. My shit right here. This, um, this keyboard. Yeah. I mean, this is a synth right here. This is a. Uh, um, Overheim expander just makes some little sounds. PS16 Plus. This is what the like, LP uses from, uh, from uh, nice. Brother Jules. Yeah. This is the Ensoc uh, Mirage. It's got like 5 1 2 8 bit sounds. Oh, so, sick. This is, little bass in there. this is like the, the bass echo. This makes all your stuff sound oh, all like Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That. That's the echo. There. Word, we're talking it's about that one time. Oh, check that out. The wood. Organic sound like a mug to the max. Dang. Yeah, this is uh, 
up. That's eight. STR eight. That's sick, bro. I saw that in a magazine one time. Yeah, man. Damn. Still right here, little looper. Oh. Echoplex. Still. Yeah, this you gotta have this right yeah. here. This is this is for main beats. This the nasty stuff right here. This is the S950. This is what uh, Premier used on the first um, Gangstar album. That's what's so. Crunchy. This right here, PC60. This is what we use this too. Gangstar. If you like Gangstar, yeah. Already. This right here, Lit9000. This yeah. is like if you like that 8 bit sound, like. No, yeah, man. I love that shit. Protection. Oh hell yeah. And you know what? You already know it. Nice, that 8 bit shit, man. My little space, uh, space echo. This is right here. This is if you want them, like those uh, B boy, like kind of like high, <laughs> high pitched sounding drums. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this is it. Uh, so I had to come with this right here to get the this SP. That's the gem. Limited edition, limited edition SP 1200. Woo! Like the, the SP, then the mug. Oh. This is the gold mode. This is the, oh. like 20 G's right here. <laughs> that shit is nasty. Gotta have that. Damn, Sunny. EBX. This. Filters. This is, this is the echo if you want that. Um, this is that old school echo from like uh, back in the days. You know, the 70s. Like whistle. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's that. Damn. Right there. Dope. I just did a little thing on my tractor just goes you know, you gotta have the limited edition oh like man nice NPC 3000 there it is I'm talking about oh, vintage vintage mode mm, that's this beautiful. right here you got it if you ain't got the ASR 10 you missing out the ASR, ASR 10, 10. Got bang face. Mm. gotta have that put my it's like I got my little synths over here I got, I got a gang so I'll be clicking nice. on my synths hell but, yeah uh, 808 it got the 808 and put the sense in there and put it through this ASR 10. Oh. Like, oh. Same with this EPS. Like, this is running. Oh, so it's like even crunch your. Nice. But this right here, this is what you know the Dr. Octagon album. If you like that Dr. Octagon sound, oh. Studio 440 right here. This is 440. Electronics type shit there. You got the. You gotta have the Roland boat cutter if you wanna make them. Oh yeah. This stuff is really fresh. <laughs> it's time. That's yeah, the robot. The vocoder, right yeah, the robot. Yeah, yeah. Vocoder. Gotta have that. Uh huh. And what else? Yeah, that's it. Right here. This is the robot collection. Match the gold. Oh. Synth. Yeah. Used to make skateboards. Man, man. I, you know what? It's it's does. Right here. Yeah. So ill. Casio SK1. This is if you want to have them crunchy basses. Uh, with an 8-bit sound, this is the shit right here. What? You can record anything. You battery can operated. Sound. Battery operated. Is it battery you operated? That too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got the plug for it too. Nice. And this is my... Ooh. This is my, like, uh, you know you gotta have one of these here. Oh, hold up. You know you gotta have one of these. Hold up. Oh wow. It's kind of L2, that's the image. I've been putting that into my um, emulator too, which is getting fixed right now. Nice. That's, that makes some crunchy shit too. Nice, hell yeah. But, um, yeah, man. That's so ill, bro. Little, man, that shit is ill. How does that gold one sound, bro? Man, that shit looks mad fresh. Oh, this right here? This yeah. Bad, but you gotta, you know what, what it is with this? What? You gotta put it through some, um, through some effects it's got a gang of sounds on it. this classic yeah yeah classic uh 
That's ill, bro. Shit, my battery's about to die. I'm gonna have to tra change the battery. Hold on. Yeah, man. Man, they're dope, man. I like the bonus. The bonus, all the bonus material is so ill. You know, you had a couple, like, like four bonus tracks, right? Was it three, like two or? There was like a few. I thought some bonus tracks. I know. They're all a little bit different. Sick. That's so dope. All right, we're back with an inside view. Of the legendary. He's got a gangster. But anyway, you know, you got like there's a million sounds and I can't. Run yeah. All that stuff, but it, you know, it's, a, it's basically an old mug. That's dope. Just a collector's edition, but That's I, I dope. That, dude. You run it. Sick. Nice. Up here, I gotta make all this stuff. Oh, I nice. Oh, oh. Uh, I got another album coming up. Sick. It's like, um, freaking goals I got to do just this year. It's a uh, uh, it's top secret stuff. Top secret, yeah, exactly. Just know I got stuff coming. Swag, we got an inside look already. You heard it here first. That, that's <laughs> ill, bro. original No, oh, nice. I got the original, original yeah. Snoop Dogg painting. That's an actual painting, the one that was in his book. Oh, that's yeah. Painting. What? Sick. That's the original um, Tupac. So those are, those are in his what? book, but I had bought the original back in the days when I, when I was kicking him. Dope, dope. That's so sick. Yeah. That's so because sick. This bro. is the one I, I use this, the uh, JP808. I use this for the uh, interludes in uh, Wave Wave Twisters, like in, the, in, in between the movies and in, in between the scenes in the movies when the card would come Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. It's my man, Sam Floor. Nice. That's yes. dope. Yeah, yeah. Check out this Mars One thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the whole That's dope. Weird shit. Damn, dog. Yeah, that's an original painting from when I first before he got famous. I remember those like back in the day. That's the cover. Yeah, your cover is sick. It's just such an ill cover. That is really ill, yeah. It's deep, yo. It's mad deep. I like all that shit, bro. Yeah, more notes on the wall. That's what's up. Mars 1 again. Oh. That's, <laughs> That's an inside look, yeah. Man. So Thank you, bro. It's an inside look. How do you feel about the scratching today, bro? I mean, how healthy, like, you think it's pretty healthy today? Are you pleased with the scene? Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody's getting better. Everybody got their own unique things. Everyone's still learning stuff. I'm still learning stuff. Yeah. It's amazing, man. It's like, you know. This is fun times. Fun times. Yeah, it's dope. It's like, we, we don't know anything, so it's like, it's awesome that we're discovering shit. Yeah, exactly. So it's, like, it's exciting. Yeah. Aliens are probably looking at us like, man, it's just old, but then to us, it's like, ah, oh, it's old shit, you know, it's exciting. Yeah. That's, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I got one more question. Where do you think the future of turntablism will be? Man, I get asked that question a million times. I say the same shit. It can go any way you want it to go, man. It's infinity. It's not one direction. Everybody thinks it's one fucking direction. Man, yeah. it can go any freaking way, man. Where? Let's go. Anyway, anyway, if you close your eyes and just listen to shit in your head, that's what's gonna go to make it happen. Mm. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, what's gonna make you happy? You listen, you close your eyes and you just 
like think of the illest scratch song that has ever not even been made that's what's gonna be the future uh, so everybody got their own way of going you know so it's just it's endless that's dope thank you bro yeah. mad love well, man your eyes right now, it's like, the crazy <laughs> shit <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Well, that's what's up. Well, you heard it here first, guys. We're here with DJ Qbert, and uh, thank you so much, bro. My love to you. Appreciate it. Love you, bro. Love you too, man. My love. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you. See you later. All right, bye. Peace. The one and only legend, DJ Flair. How you been? Yeah, I've been cool, man. Just, uh, you know, keeping my nose clean, keeping my uh, chin up, and living life to the fullest. For those people out there that want to know, how's your health? First of all, let's just start there. How's your health? <laughs> Everybody always talks about my health. That's pretty funny. My health has always been fine, except for the shooting incident. Um, pretty much, my health is uh, okay. Fantastic. And for you those know? for those that may not know, Flair was shot by the cops a while back. That was damn. That was like a long ass time ago. Now I still got the bullet in my back. Holy shit, son. Yep. So, okay. Nine millimeter. Shit hurts, man. Feels like you're getting hit by a searing hot camel prod. When I, sh I got shot, man, I jumped like 10 feet to the sky and felt like, man. Yeah. I said to the cop, what the fuck are you doing? And then. My French. Cop was a rookie and so basically I was nervous and uh, shot the bystander when he should have been shooting the armed robber that was like 20 feet to the side of me in front of me i'm in a doctor's office sitting waiting for my doctor's appointment this guy comes in he just robbed a mom and pop liquor store and his wife is receptionist there he comes in saying the cops are after him he speaks to his wife and stuff blah 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 cops come in like hey, Five seconds after he comes in the office, I see all this happening. I'm froze in a chair. The only one waiting for the doctor, nobody else in the room. And uh, two cops come in, and a rookie cop, there's a veteran cop and a rookie cop. Uh, and the guy with the gun, he shoots one shot off into the roof. They start opening up, and first shot that goes out we locked eyes I said this cop's gonna shoot me he had that scared deer look in his eyes you know damn and yeah <laughs> yeah and he uh yeah shot me right through the lower back and uh then they shot the the perp guy you know the perp like ten times killing him around the spot pretty crazy that is oh, nuts. Well. That, that's nuts so you couldn't like sue the police department for that oh yeah i sued them nice nice cool bro so okay what are your thoughts on this turntablism scene and scratch scene today turntablism and portableism more broadly or more specifically rather uh today um uh... yeah today I vaguely follow the, um, seems like it has too many buttons in it today. Um, too many gadgets, you know, on the mixer, you know, and, uh, just, uh, the sampling, all that stuff included in people's, you know, sets, you know, battle sets, and too much, uh, like, um, 
clowning, you know, like mm -hmm. playing lyrics from certain records. And like, Yo, sucker, you want to battle me? I don't think so, G. You know, like that shit. <laughs> and just, I think that's pretty stupid myself. And uh, yeah. basically, I just like to see straight up, you know, skills on turntables, whether it be juggling or my forte scratching. Already, already. Have you came up with any new scratches? Scratching wise, I don't know. I'm, I've got, I got a lot of scratches that uh, nobody's heard before. So okay, so how has scratching changed your life? Yeah, um, just the creative aspect of uh, the scratching is the way I look at it is uh, more as a, a organic type of um, thing than a more uh, technical type of thing that uh, I see on display a lot. Right. Which is fine, you know, technical. Everybody can be technical and stuff, but personally, uh, Flow, right? Listening, listening to your inner self, and just uh, just listening to your inner self, and using that creative aspect of your mind that everybody has, that is indigenous to themselves personally. Everybody's creative, whether you're a DJ or a person who works at yeah. Jack in the Box or a person. A lawyer, a person works washing cars. Everybody's creative in what they do in a certain way or another. It's just how they apply it to their work, craft, art, etc. Nice. You know. Yeah. One piece of advice um, would be to just uh. Be creative onto yourself, not onto what you see others others do. Mm. And you really have to think hard about that because your mind can really play tricks on you and make you think you're being creative when actually you're not. And I don't say that in a bad way. I say that in the utmost positive way is that your brain will create these, you know, uh, sort of, uh, just like, I'd say like mental blocks that would cause you to drift off in another direction and not be true to your own innate personal creative self that's only, um, one to you and nobody else that would make whatever you're doing, whether it be scratching, whether it be anything, so much more original and uh, different from other people. It's like uh, the possibilities are limitless, you know? And I could go on and on, but I don't want to sound like I'm preaching. <laughs> no, that's amazing. I mean, I think it's very true. That's really dope. So, okay, well, well, tell us something else. Anything else you're working on? What What do you want to talk about? Yeah, um, I got a lot of projects I'm working on. Um, what you got going on right now? The Five Star Scratch Series, um, which uh, mm -hmm. I, I, it sort of speaks for itself, and uh, and an album I'm working on with uh, uh, DJ Quest, AKA Quest Dosan, the legend from San Francisco. Nice. And uh, the Mixology Mix Master, DJ Too Fresh. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, collaborating with uh, Qbert on a few things, nice. DJ. Hubert and uh, all the rumors out there that say we're 
you know, arguing about this and that, feeding, whatever. Um, that might have been true years and years ago. But as time goes by, so do feelings and uh, differences musically, personally, you know, they all just sort of fade away over time. Mm -hmm. And with a strong personal friendship, it just seems to go back to the normalcy. Which that seems to be the case with uh, many of my relationships, not just with uh, Cuba. <laughs> Well, that's cool. Believe me, many, many of us are very excited and happy to hear that. You know, I always said if the Guns N' Roses could come together, <laughs> anybody could. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, that's when I fly. Exactly. Yeah, I actually went and saw them in concert was it last month. It was just like the best concert of my life. It was so great. Oh, Axel's man, he's the best man. He's She's best. like the best frontman dude, and Slash still has it too, man. I mean, yeah, Slash is pretty good, man. That's dope, brother. That's dope. What else? What else is popping? Um, that's pretty much, man. Just uh, working oh. in the studio. Oh yeah, I got that break record coming out with you. Oh There's, yeah. Uh, AKA DJ Hypnotize. Mm. Hypnotize, uh, the Hypno. <laughs> uh, yeah, got that coming up. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm working on a project with, uh, um, Extract. This crazy ass, uh, um, beat creator, musician, bass player. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a uh, he's really gifted and talented, and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, covers the gambit. The Scratch Society is always keeping it live, twenty four seven, for all your scratch learning needs, techniques, uh, concepts, perceptions, everything of the scratch. Scratch in the Scratch world. A lot of people have been asking, what is the Scratch Society? Can you uh, shed some light on that? The scratch Society is everything and everything Scratch. And the uh, DJ slash my boy DJ Disc term turntableism world. And, uh, Shut up, this. Yes, everything encompasses that. Yeah. Already, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, I mean, that's that's really it, bro. I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? I mean, you pretty much covered all the main stuff. Um, let me see. Let me see. What do you think about the Portablist movement? Um, uh, Cool. Whatever um, can get you in more uh, time on the tables is good, you know. Yeah, for sure. Take for sure. take take your scratch with you, just like a guitarist can take his guitar with you. Exactly, man. It's take great. your uh, turntable and mixer with you, and scratch yourself into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> nice very very nice so well this is great news you heard it here first we can expect a lot more from DJ Flair the genius aka the genius the legend so thank stay you uh, yeah. Uh, yeah man big up you know what I'm saying you got so, so many so many fans on behalf of all the fans and all the the fans worldwide thank you you know and personally thank you for you know I mean for being cool with me almost 20 years now. Yeah, thank you and I thank all the fans, you know, for being cool with me. I've got nothing but love for them and they've shown nothing but love for me. So, you know, it's two-way street, you know? Yes, absolutely. And we are looking forward to more releases from The Genius, a.k.a. DJ Flair. 
No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> so yeah, bless. So that, that's it. I mean, uh, we're gonna wrap this up right now. Is there any shout outs you want to give? Anything you want to say before we? Uh... I gave all my shout outs in the past. They know who they are. Nice. No. Nice. That's what's up, bro. Well, you heard it here first. Be on the lookout for more from DJ Flair. Cho, how can people find you, Flair? Um, they could uh, find me uh, uh, driving by their house late at night, looking in their windows. Because I am a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, it's, you know, hit me up on Facebook or something like that, you know. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Well, thank you so much. And um, I'm sure everybody's really happy to hear you're doing well. And uh, we can't wait for your next project. Coming soon. Well, thank you, yeah, brother. That. All right, so, Flair, so who are your influences, man? And tell us a little bit about, you know, when you started DJing. Um, pretty much, uh, the only influence I had was, uh, pretty much, I can think of as Grand Mixer, uh, DST. Mm. Yeah. He's got those crazy cuts, you know what I'm saying? Already. Yeah, and, uh, you remember that record, right? Yeah. And uh, that's my favorite song of all time. Oh, cool. And uh, yeah, pretty much after him, I don't really have any other influences. And uh, what was the other part of the question? Um, how'd you when get? Did I... Yeah, like how'd you start scratching? Oh, um, just, uh, you know, um, you know, at a young age, like around the age of, like, 11 or 12, you know, just starting to, you know, listen to, you know, hip-hop, and, uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, like, sort of a, little little b boy you know i i uh you know popped strutted and stuff like that mm-hmm. wasn't really good at it but you know i tried <laughs> yeah. and but then i got into like uh the more musical side of like you know hip-hop and uh was really like enveloped by the sound of the scratch you know the scratch yeah. sound that was I was being heard, you know, I was hearing on all these records and stuff, and, uh, um, I was just, uh, captivated by it, you know, and it just, uh, sucked me in, and, uh, yeah, that was, like, what, back in 1983, and I say three, and, yeah, Ever since then, it's been a downhill struggle. <laughs> no, what, what is it? An uphill struggle? Yeah. No. No. Nah, oh, I thought you were cool, being sarcastic. Uh-huh. Cool. Yo, Flair. So, um, what's your favorite mixer? I don't really have a favorite mixer. I just prefer a mixer with like a sharp cut. Just a, uh, not necessarily a really sharp cut. Uh, one doesn't go out on me, you know, or have static in it, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. All these uh, DJs seem to be uh, um, uh, just uh, fixated on how sharp a fader should be. You know, it has to like if it doesn't uh, go off within a quarter eight of a millimeter it's mm-hmm. not good you know yeah <laughs> uh um but i've never been really uh 
You know, I sort of like uh, the more uh, uh, fadey sound of a fader, you know? Not the real sharp clickety click. Yeah. So I like a more like a fader with a decent, you know, cut off ratio, but uh, a more uh, like a smooth sound to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Not all snappy. Okay. Are you eating right now? <laughs> what is it? I'm hungry. Give me some. It's a it's a um hmm. I'm eating a tearjerker sour bubblegum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are you proud of scratching today? I mean, taking into consideration, you know, your contributions and everything. have it folks an interview with DJ Flair the one and only thank you so much Flair we really appreciate your time thank you for all your contributions and changing the game and making it so dope so we can't wait to see more from you soon and um, yeah man appreciate you mad love yo big love always oh thank you man mm -hmm. I got you man it's, it's an honor thank you brother and uh, yeah man all the scratch DJs out there in the world just uh, keep scratching and innovating mm. and uh, keep pushing the art forward, you know? Because if it doesn't keep going, then it just is like an animal. If it stops moving, it lays down and dies, you know? Mm -hmm. So, to live by. but I don't plan for that to happen because I won't allow it personally. I'll always be pushing new sounds and new techniques. Yeah, that. Like only the way I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all be on the lookout for more from Flair soon. Word. Peace, Check Flair. out Scratch Society. Yeah, that. Yep, Scratch Society. Major for all the latest information on the scratch world and all the latest techniques abstract thinking thought processes all in the context of the scratch society website scratchsociety.com there you go, there's your plug right there. Swag. 
from the five star general himself, DJ Flair. Big up. Word. <laughs> or should I say, word. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're going to use the second one. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, homie. Later. Mega DJ Center, a local hub for Houston turntablists and DJs. We got a lot of our gear here and Vin has been instrumental in supporting the shredders out here and Scratch DJs with events, great gear, and a lot of support. Just want to give a huge shout out to Vin. Thanks for the continued support over the years. And um, check it out, shopmegadj.com. Got some of the dopest heat in the cut game.
to go out there and try this art form. No age is too young or too old for this. If you love music, get out there and express yourself. <laughs>